grade four math practice test for T and ready question on this version anyway, number two, which decimal has the same value as 68 over 100, or you could call this 68 hundredths. So I need to figure out where I'm going to put this 68 in decimal form to uh, set it up with me. Right now, 68, or set it up appropriately. The decimal point is right there. If I'm dividing by 100, I just take the number of zeros too, and I'm going to move it to the left because it's a smaller number. If you get smaller decimal goes left. If it's larger decimal goes to the right. My handwriting is garbage there, but you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to go one, two. So my new decimal point is right there, and I just need to fill in the zero for placeholder. That way I can sort of get a feel for where it is in relation to the whole number. So my answer to number two is R. When I was younger, I would also sort of think about fractions and whatever, or decimals in certain terms. So if I was going to do tenths, for instance, what I would do is sort of add the zero here just to give it some focus or some idea of where the decimal is. And if I could draw the 10 backwards, that would be, this would be the 10th spot. For the other one, I would just make a hundred and I would always put the decimal after the first one. So see, it's a backward hundred. That's hundredths. I do a thousand and I'd put it right there. Thousandths. And I would remember that this is where the number should start. So since I'm just substituting in this 68, if I was going to hundredths, my eight would go there. And then I would just start filling in numbers to the left. So one, eight, six, zero point six eight. So there you go.